Nairobi Governor Mike Mbubi Sonko may become the second governor to be removed from office after a member of the county assembly tabled a motion to impeach him. Minority Whip Peter Emotok wants Sonko impeach over allegations of gross violation of the constitution and misconduct. And as Silas Apollo now reports, the motion which will be tabled or debated next week follows a court case against Sonko in which he is charged with corruption. In a motion table before the Nairobi County Assembly on Thursday afternoon, Minority Whip Peter Imoto claims Governor Mike Sonko has become incompetent. Imoto says the governor has not only failed to run the county, but has broken several laws in the process, something that has exposed his office to ridicule. By exhibiting incompetency, inability to provide leadership, and govern the county that has to lead a total breakdown of service delivery in the county. Imotok is accusing the governor of failing to appoint a deputy, serving with a poorly constituted executive, sacking as well as suspending staff at will, leading to poor delivery of services. Governor Songo is further accused of running a one-man show at the county after he parted ways with his deputy, Polika Pigathe. The governor had nominated Ann Kananu as his deputy by the courts by the assembly from voting the candidate. Close to a half of the county executive committee comprised of members who are serving on an acting capacity for the longest period rendering them to serve under constant fear of being sacked, reshuffled by the governor. Thus cannot make any independent, substantive decisions. Imotok says his motion is meant to restore order in the county, since the governor has on several occasions showed disregard of the rule of law in his management style. Other accusations leveled against the county boss include a failure to put in place a foolproof revenue collection system, inability to control public debt and pay pending bills, as well as incompetency in running the affairs of the county. But the motion has already split the house with a section of MCS from the Jubilee Party vowing to shoot it down during debates next week. Their ODM counterparts say they will soldier on, saying the governor was holding the county hostage with his commando style of leadership. And as the intrigues, the accusations and the counter accusations all less with the drama continues, one thing is for certain that the chaos at the city county of Nairobi is something that may not end anytime soon. Silas Apollo, NTV.